right. My name is Sarah Forgey. I'm an associate professor in pediatrics at the Faculty of Medicine and Dentistry at the University of Alberta. Could you explain to me what kind of research you undertook? So we were looking at bacteria on plastic and trying to determine if different types of wipes um, had an effect on reducing that bacteria on the plastic. And what is it, what kind of results did you have? Um, so we looked at different kinds of bacteria and different types of wipes, and those included disinfecting wipes that we could find in the hospital, disinfecting wipes that we could find in the supermarket, and uh, we also used tissue that was moistened with salt water or saline. And what we found was um, we would swipe or rub the plate either once, three times, or five times, um, and this was a plate that had bacteria on it that we had placed on it. And uh, what we wanted to see was, was there a difference between the type of wipes and how many times the plate was swiped or rubbed. And what we found was if the plate was only swiped once, the disinfecting wipes were the most effective at reducing bacterial counts. But if you swipe the plate three or uh, more times, saline on a tissue was just as effective at reducing bacterial counts as the disinfecting wipes. And what are your next steps for this research? Um, what we would like to determine is um, we want to make it a little bit more applicable to real life situations. So we'd like to look at not just the plastic petri dishes, but actual objects that are used um, uh, outside of the lab, so things like cell phones and pagers. And we would also like to look at what, what was it about the saline on a tissue? Would it be just as effective if we use water on a tissue, and that includes sterile water or tap water? And would it be just as effective if we used a dry tissue? Thank you.